Okay, I will. Okay, now I'm going to change the tie right in. I've already prepped up a few things. Got a new tie right in there. I'll get that out of the pack already. And we've got a tie right in there. Okay, I've already loosened off the ball joint there. Already loosened the nut. And I put a bit of um, electrical tape along the top there. You could use a texter or whatever, maybe a dab of grease or something, just to make sure that you've got the steering arm facing the same way that you take this controller arm off. Because if it's down, you could be half a turn out, half a turn in. Not that it, that it will make a huge difference, but it will make a little bit of a difference. And uh, once changing the tie right in, <clears throat> you might want to um, take the van in for a wheel alignment afterwards anyway. Um, you'll know soon enough anyway when you're driving. You know, if she's got a pull to the left or right, you know that she's um, well in need of a wheel alignment. Anyway, now that I've got this undone, masking tape there to mark which side of the steering arm is up. I'll take this ball joint out. Now we just want to untwist this and we want to count how many times you untwist it. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, and 18 and 3 quarters, basically 19. So now we want to put the new one on. Trying to get the catch the same way I took it off. Okay, so it's... So the other way, the old one came off at there, and this, old, this new one's cut, grabbing here. So that's, yeah, I'll go 19 from this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's 19 turns on. Now the thread up here shows me that I'm further away from the nut on those 19 turns to what the old one was and uh, well I don't know how big a difference that's going to make to the steering but um, most definitely not 100% sure on that and uh, once taken for a drive I'll, like I said I'll soon find out anyway keep going with the job Off here. Okay, we just want to, for some reason, this washer here's come off. A metal ring rail has come off. I might just pause the video for a second while I um, put this on. Okay, I got that metal ring back on there. Okay, so basically, what we want to do is just put the ball joint back in here. I could use the old nut on this thread, but um, just figure I'll use the new one since it came with it. It's a little bit bigger than the old nut though, so instead of using a 17mm to get it off, I'll be using a 19mm to put this new one back on. Okay, that can come up a lot more than that. Need to line up the groove now with the hole that's in the ball joint thread there. Wow, 
like so. Now we can tighten this up. There you have it. I'll put the pin in there. It's around here somewhere, but I'll, I'll put the pin back in here. Stop that from unwinding, and there you have it, changing the tie right in. Thank you for watching.